Hello everyone, this is Iman Shahansari. I'm back again and in this video we will cover how we could analyze the view. So, I first want to cover view in an urban context. So I bring up a, maybe uh, I go to the top and draw a planar surface and have some geometry on it in order to uh, visualize a, some, how an urban context Maybe I have here a road, or here I have some sort of a square shape here. So, in order to calculate view, we could go to the third sub tab, and we have two uh, components which uh, talk about the view. Uh, and I first start with ladybug view percent. So, what are our mandatory input view type? Uh, grid size, geometry, and running. So, start first from view type. Here we have different view type, and it has very great definition about each type. So, I first start with a zero, which is corresponding to horizontal radial view. So, I type zero, and I have my geometry, which is the planar surface, which is corresponding to my uh, urban uh, street. Here I type it in, set one geometry. I have these boxes as a context. I bring again the geometry, set multiple, and context, and hide this in order to have better visualization. Here I could bring up something called the wireframe, your wireframe, and toggle these two so I could see the bonds of it. For grid size, I type one, but you might type it a little bit bigger number because it's a lot of points here if you calculate it, if you wanted to calculate each one. I bring a toggle, boolean toggle, run it and parallel and turn it to true. And here you could see how horizontal radial view is affected from each side. Uh, I want to make some changes for you in order to see it better. I delete these, these, and sorry, I draw some geometry from our last video and have these only as my context. So set multiple and here we see. Here we could see that my horizontal radial view, which talk about the circle that has been put here, and we have points, we have view vector here, and result here is affected by the surrounding building. But uh, we have some great thing here, which is horizontal, but it has certain degree offset from top and bottom, which uh, is more um, is talk about the human uh, peripheral vision and how our eyes see an urban context or any uh, surrounding. So I change this view to one, and you see a more gradient and more shift to have better view to our surrounding because now we have thirty degree offset. But what uh, Ladybug tools have is that it has a sky view and sky exposure. You could read about it. It talk about how we see sky as a general and how a surface would see sky. So, as a matter of fact, I want to uh, bring up a four to see how I could see the sky from different parts of my geometry. You know, because the sky, in, you know, in order to have a view to sky, you see these type and these street or these grids that are here is between two surfaces really affected because they couldn't see sky. Um, but I want to do more amazing work with this view percent. And that is, I want, for example, to have uh, some another boxes here, and some boxes here, and I define them as context again, set multiple geometry, hide this, and have this building uh, contoured, uh, you might know it, the contour, and I want to have a, a four meter height slab. So I hide this geometry, bring up a planar surface and set it as multiple geometry. And let me see what goes wrong. It said it couldn't calculate whole line curve, and it's true, so it's better to bring up sometimes a brief and set multiple brief and toggle brief in. So here I could see, let me hide these. Here I could see if I have a uh, you know fully glazed window for my somehow semi tower, uh, I want to see how much view to the sky that uh, each floor plan of this uh, tower has. I could see it here very clearly. And as you see in the middle part, uh, due to the uh, fact that here I could maybe draw a vector for you to see it, we have line here and another line here. So you could see it clearly that only these angles could see the skies. And it is more accurate if you move these uh, you know, surfaces to the eye vision of people, whether they're standing or they're sitting at their desk. And you see here, uh, the lower uh, floors, especially the ground floor, doesn't have much view to the skies due to these geometry. And if, for example, I delete this geometry and again set my uh, geometry as a context, I could see it'll get a little bit better here but it's still the same because it calculates here and here too, which is you know, a little bit affected here. You see here due to the um, 
lower length of building here, I have better visualization of the sky. But um, what about the fact that uh, I want to have a view, for example, to a park that has been uh, near my building, which is a desirable view for me or any other context. We have also ladybug visibility percent. Uh, so let me see we have viewpoint here we have our geometry context grid size which is somehow the same so i parallel and run it i put grid size i put geometry and context and well, what uh, other mandatory field that i should cover here instead of the uh, view type above i should cover viewpoint here so so here as you see here i should bring a point and as you read it said you could use ladybug generate point grid so I bring up my ladybug generate point grid and it asks me for geometry. Maybe I have a rectangle here, rectangle here, and I say this planar surface, set it as a geometry, set one geometry, and have a grid size of maybe five because it's a little bit large, and set it to the point. Here you could see some, oh sorry, and indoor region to this, uh, let me hide this, to this uh, maybe side part but what we want here is uh, that if you stand by your facet how much you could see so instead of floor plan i should probably set my uh, actual facet as a uh, analysis grid so here i could see that these uh, part of my facet could have a very direct view to this part or amenities and you see here we don't have any vision into it uh, there are other cool things you could do with these components let me delete these and cover another topic so if i have some sort of uh let me go to the top i maybe have some sort of stage here which is like, like i don't know maybe here and mirror it here and have a line make it a planar surface and yes let me here and bring up extrude curve and i have maybe 10 meter stage here I set this stage here with maybe grid size of 1 and I want to see if anybody sitting on this surface how much view they could have to this stage so I bring up set 1 b rep and delete my context and you see they have a 100% view to this stage but I could make it more interesting and oh you could see we have a 0% view which is uh, let me check it probably for the direction of my uh, beard it could be but uh, First thing first, I could maybe probably move this uh, edge. Let me move this. Let me have this surface selected, move it to the. Let's go to the front and move it to here. And here again, I see no changes, but let me check if I flip the surface, it could probably bring up a hundred percent value which is somehow valid to the fact that uh, here uh, our view is changed but i could bring up some cool thing here which is if i extrude this curve and set this as a context because it's blocked our view here b rep and set multiple b rep and set it as a context you see some changes here and if i want to be more accurate probably i could you know maybe change it to 0.5 And another thing that I could add here is if I have some uh, sort of uh, column here for my roof, probably one by one, uh, one by one. So let me hide this uh, here and maybe copy it here and oh, I and mirror it probably and set them and of course have it on my perspective, extrude it and set these also beside them as my uh, context. Set multiple mirror for my context and show it the result here. And you could see how much seed would be affected by these uh, probably columns. Uh, and if I could maybe bring up some, uh, you know, add some chairs or anything, you could calculate a view to the stage. Uh, by this component uh, and how much uh, the I know, accessories in that stage would affect the view. Hope you enjoy it. Comment anything you want or any suggestion you have. Thanks for uh, having me.